capable of reducing a whole chicken flock to nothing in a matter of days, early signs of coccidiosis include loss of appetite, reduced feed consumption, rapid weight loss, paleness, and ruffled feathers. While acute signs include reduced mobility, severe diarrhea, sometimes watery and mixed with blood, tissue debris or mucus. While high loads of the parasitic protozoa, Imeria species is responsible for this disease, poor sanitation, warm wet litter plus overcrowding can take the disease to a whole new level with severe losses. How to manage coccidiosis? Prevention remains the most effective means of managing the disease because once the parasite gains ground on a farm, it becomes very difficult to eliminate. That is why proper sanitation, biosecurity and healthy environmental conditions for chickens do not only prevent the disease, but equally stops its spread from one flock to other flocks on the farm. Vaccinating chicks at the hatchery or on the farm from day old is also a good means of immunizing birds. The addition of adequate quantities of toxin binders and other treatments like Declazuril to feed during milling has also proven to be very effective in preventing coccidiosis. Also, a preventive therapy with coxalin, which is a herbal extract, can help prevent a full-blown disease if administered at an early stage. But the administration of coxalin during a major antibiotic treatment or after it can help chickens recover faster. Finally, the last means of defense is the administration of antibiotics and this must be after a proper diagnosis and the antibiotic recommended by a veterinary doctor. One of my flocks once suffered from acute coccidiosis and upon recommendation from a vet, I administered lincomycin for three days in the affected barn and it proved to be very effective within 48 hours. However, I equally gave them coccolin after the treatment and their recovery was great. If this video was useful to you, subscribe in other not to miss my next video.